Hi everyone. <laughs> I feel so out of the loop, but I don't know. I feel a bit weird. I'm in my 90s still because I am currently 38 plus six days pregnant. Um, let's see if I can show you my bump. Don't know if I'll be able to, but there she is. Um, I have, we do know we're having a little girl. We also do know that tonight, on the 10th of September, I'm going in to be induced because she is measuring quite big and because actually was quite big, I have to be induced, so that's happening. But I'm going to show you what I'm taking in my hospital bag. I didn't do this with Archie, but I've been a bit obsessed with watching them. So I want to see what I'm like taking and then what I'm actually using. Um, so we'll just get started. Literally right in front of me, I'm taking, I actually feel like I've got quite a few bags, but it's fine. I'm taking, first of all, a blanket because I find that their blankets are quite... Although they're soft, they're kind of itchy and they're just heavy and horrible and annoying. So I don't want to take theirs, have theirs. So I've got my own. Just nice and autumnal, but just the first one that came to hand. We've also got Little Missy's snowsuit. This is one we got from TK Maxx. It's just grey and floral in size 0 to 3. It's from Baby Mon Bonito. Um, fifteen pounds. So thought that was brilliant. But with we needed um like a shower proof one just in case it's raining. So um got that. And I also have my dressing gown all wrapped up. This is such an old dressing gown, so I'm not like overly fussed if I leave it there. Um, if I forget it or if it gets lost or it gets loads of blood on it. So we'll just see what happens. But I've got that as well. Um, everything is packed, so I'm going to try and do it as much as, like, not taking it out so much as possible. Um, oh, I've also got an over-shoulder bag. This has got mostly, like, snacks in my book and, like, colouring stuff in it. Because I know that when I got induced with Archie, um, I was bored quite a lot. And me and Stuart, obviously Stuart was allowed in. That was in 2018. Um, well, 2017 into 18, which Archie was born on the 1st of January. Um and yeah, when he when he was in, we watched like a lot of Russell Howard and stuff on his laptop because we were bored because I was getting induced and we didn't know like what to do and stuff. So basically, got a lot of bits in this little front pocket. There is some earplugs because I know from last time there was um whenever it was like visiting. I know that it's going to be different this time and stuff, but. Just in case I can't get to sleep tonight or anything, um, I've got these just in case. Some earplugs. We have a splitter, so when Archie is, um, when Stuart is allowed in with me, we can watch something just in case. It's always a, you, you'd rather have it than and need it. You'd rather have it. You just you know what I'm trying to say, don't you? <laughs> I'd rather have it and not want it than want it and not have it that's it so got that as well um and that is all that's in the front bit there then in this big bit we've got a few snacks and my book and my my uh, maternity notes so the book i'm taking is boy queen <clears throat> life's a drag until you try so Stuart was like i says oh i need a new book for the hospital just in case um, don't know how long you're going to be in there for so Stuart was like well this sounds right up your street so we've got this one from Waterstones um, calling it 7 .99. but it's buy one get one half price and I think we got actually a book as well so we got one of them half price I have my maternity notes and in my maternity notes I've got my birth plan like what I'd love my birth plan to be like and what I prefer and what I want them to know and I have my emergency contacts as well. So that's all in there. Um, it was also upside down. I also have a colouring book. So I know for a fact I'm not going to get to sleep straight away tonight. Because I'm going to be anxious. I'm going to get my first pessary in tonight. Um, and I might be uncomfortable. So I just don't know. So I'm taking my colouring book. Um, the therapy and 
an anti-stress colouring book. So I've done a few in there, but there could be more that could be done. Um, so I've got that as well. And then I've got some pencils. See, that sounds like so unnecessary, unnecessary to take. But I know when like you just get bored, see if you're induced. You do get a bit bored and you don't want to be on your phone all the time as well, do you know what I mean? Like, get sore eyes and all that. So, so for some snacks, like treat snacks that I can have tonight before, I, like, I'm pretty much in active labour. Um, we went to Thornton's and I kind of overbought some stuff. So, I thought I'd just put them in here and just in case anyone else wants them as well. These are some strawberries and cream fudge from Thornton's. No doubt uh, uh, Stuart will get in involved with them as well. Got some orange, orange crisp some from Thornton's. So out of breath. Um, got some mentos because I know that your breath gets a bit stinky. So got some mints. I do have, just in case we need it, we, obviously she's going to be newborn so she's not going to need it. But again, I'd rather have it and need it than not have it and need it. You know what I mean? Um, we've got some metanium. Yellow cream for a butt, and I've also got a little tub of soda cream. Probably not going to use it because it's all these things that you're gonna. I'm going to end up packing, but I'm also in that kind of mindset of like, I need to overpack and I need I need these things when I probably don't need them. So, but we just need to wait and see. Uh, I've got a little um, pillow spray, my lavender one. This is the this works deep sleep pillow spray. I use this quite a lot for Archie at night times. Um, and it helps him drift off. So I thought I'd just kind of steal it for the hospital. Um, and hopefully it will help me drift off. That's the hope. Uh, oh, these are my tucks. Tucks. I didn't think that I would be able to use these because she was breech. I went for my a scan. I had like grow scans because um, because she was measuring big and obviously Archie was big. But also I've been on... Um, propranol oil for my migraines and my blurry vision so that can like stunt the baby's growth but I was already going to be on growth scans anyway so it didn't matter but um I went for my scan at 30 weeks and she was measuring fine head down in position ready and then I went for another scan at 33 plus 4 I think and then she was measuring um quite big and also she was breech so and she was breech for about I think she was a breach for about five weeks or something. So we thought that I'd need an, um, a plan C section. So I had like ordered these and everything and I got really upset about it and blah, blah, blah. But I can use these now because she's not breached anymore. And her head's in position. I got another scan at 37 plus three or something, I think it was. Um, and they said that she's not breached anymore and she is still measuring quite big, but... I was so happy to find out that I can use these and I'm hopefully going to have a vaginal delivery again. So we'll see about that. Stuart got me this fan. <laughs> it looks so big. Um, he got me this because you get really hot. It's as easy as that. You get really hot in labour. I'm boiling right now and I've got the windows open and a little summer dress on. So... Um, got this. Accordingly you just plug it into his laptop and then it works from that. So he can be in charge of that because I'm not. I also have some Suki Sweeties. Some good old rhubarb and custards. See most of this stuff as well will not be coming home with me. Like it will be eaten or used or in the bin. So that's that empty. And then for myself and for little missies I'm taking a like overhead bag from that you take in the the airplane. So I've got that. Oh, just beside me actually, I've got a few things. Before I get into this, we have some headphones. I don't have any headphones, so we've got new ones. Um, just in ear ones. I've got some tea tree oil because I'm going to make some tea tree spray for down there for postpartum afterwards because going for a pee after you've had a baby from the last time I knew he was £10.2 it stung and this can help um, for healing and stuff so I'm hoping 
we can use this. Hopefully Stuart comes home with a little spray bottle today from his work. I have my hairbrush, easy as, just to brush the hair up so that Stuart can grab it up for me. Um, I also have a little pen, just in case we want to play any games or anything on, on any paper or I don't know. Stuart also has still to pack his own bag. Um, he says he's going to do that tonight when I'm in hospital and then he's still here. So as it stands, I think, well, the last time I heard, um, he's not allowed in until I'm in active labour. But he is allowed in for an hour tomorrow morning and an hour tomorrow afternoon, I think. And then after that, he'll be in when I'm in active labour in the labour ward. So I'm hoping I go into labour relatively early so I'm not without them for a long time. Um, so these have got, this has got um, two zip compartments at the top and I have water wipes for her. We always got, well we got it with actually as well and they were a godsend. We got a bulk buy on Amazon and um, we get 12 packs for £25. So we've got them for the first, it can last like three weeks to six weeks. I'm sure they lasted like five or six weeks with Archie. So um, yeah, water wipes. Cause I ain't doing the whole cotton wool and, and warm water stuff. These are perfect, perfectly fine for what I need to use them for. So godsend, amazing. Um, I've also got some nappies. How many nappies do I have? I think I might need to pack some more nappies. These are size ones. Uh, little nappies. These are tiny. Archie's in a size 7. So see going back to a size 1. Seems ridiculous. So um, I've got 2, 4, 6 nappies. So obviously I think I'm definitely going to need more than that. So I'll need to pack some more nappies. These are the Pampers ones. That's what we've used throughout Archie's life. And that's what I'm going to use throughout her life as well. I've also got loads of maternity pads and also breast pads in here because I am planning to breastfeed a little bit better this time hopefully because obviously I know what to expect and stuff um, with Archie I don't know what to expect already I stopped breastfeeding with Archie for ages um, when he was like maybe two or three months old and I still had breast milk like a year and a half later but then since I became pregnant it went away and now I got like my colostrum and all that through straight away with this one so hopefully it's not too bad and I've got my milk in and all that I'm hoping so anyway so these have got little compartments just at the top here Um, I have some little mittens just white and pink and some little socks pink and grey uh, into this big bit in the middle I have a little washcloth well this is actually the one that you take off your makeup with with just water uh, the makeup eraser but I've got that with me for a washcloth if I need it I also have little booties these are from Asda £4 they are look how bloody cute they are little foxies I'm so out of breath um, and we have these little cute shoes. Stuart picked these up. Again, £4 from Asda. How bloody cute are they? <gasps> I'm going to have a girl that fits into these. Seems so weird to say that. Doesn't seem real. I never thought I'd have a girl. All the Bain family are all boys. So I thought we were having boys. I also have, just in case I can't, or she doesn't latch straight away, um, or I can't feed straight away, I do have the bottles of Aptamil, and I, um, Stuart is going to bring in the sterilised, a sterilised bottle for her, um, just in case I need it. So I do have dummies as well, and I've got my nipple shields to try and catch, like, leaking breast milk, but he needs to sterilise them and then bring them in on Friday for me, so he's, that's, like, waiting to get done. So I won't have that packed. I then have, that's that one, probably wouldn't need four of them either, but they're getting taken. I also have a dark towel. 
because the blood is real after a baby. You bleed quite a lot, um, but you just want a, a lot of comfort under you as well. So I'm just going to pad myself as much as I can. So I've got my dark towel. Ideally it would be black, but I wasn't getting a new one just to have that. Do you know what I mean? So um, I also have a little massage sponge, just like the little um, bath sponge or shower sponge. And that'll just get chucked away when I'm finished, when I'm coming, before I come home. So easy as. I don't want to wash myself with just my hands. So I wanted, I wanted something soft. So I've got that. I also have more maternity pads because I can't remember how many is in the front of that. Um, so these are brilliant. These are just the Asda ones. Um, and that's what I used with Archie as well. And it was perfectly fine. I did need to use like maybe one or two, two or three sometimes just at the start, just after having them because it is so heavy and also I had a second degree tear with him um, but these are great, how many is in them? 12 and I think it's like £2 for that um, I'll go on with the clothes first and then go into like my um, bathroom bits and stuff I've got, these are my coming home pants Big comfy pants for coming home. Ding! <laughs> These are from m and I think. Um, but they literally will go over my belly button. So I am perfectly fine with that. I also have two maternity bras. These are both from m and um, Just plain white. And that, that one's got padding. And then this one is just like lace. But no padding and no wire either. But I've already wore a few the other set of them. Um, the other set is just black, but they're dead, dead comfortable. But I think I could have even went up another size. I thought I was a size D in them. Got them home, had four boobs. Got a double D. They do fit fine, but um, I feel like I could have even if I get more, I'll probably need to get an E in them, which is crazy. So it's amazing what breast milk can do and pregnancy can do to your boobs. It's a bit crazy. Um, we also ha I also have some knickers, the big knickers, um, full briefs, go via, well they pretty much go over my belly button so and over my hips and I've got big hips. £4.50 for four and again getting chucked when before I come home. Easy. These are the kind of things you kind of want to spend little on and get the kind of crap ones because you can just chuck them before you come home. You don't need to worry about it. Um, we also have this little um, all-in-one. This is also not to three, but this one's from Asda. But this one is more of a soft one and not kind of shower proof. So it just depends what the weather's going to be like, what she's going to be in. We don't want her to obviously to get wet. I know it's literally from the door to the car because she just needs to come up to the, the door, maternity door to get us and stuff. But I just don't want her to get wet, you know, and she's just the same. So... Again, this one's got ears as well. And this one was £12, I think it is, in Asda. Um, so, but we, we, we prefer, for newborns, we prefer the ones with the two zips. It's just so much easier to get them in, in and out. Because our wee delicate arms and hands is just, and legs, you kind of be squeezing them into the one zip. So, I've got them. I also have, for her outfits and stuff, I've pretty much got a vest and one long sleeve vest to go with one onesie. So I've got that white one. Um, I have a long sleeve vest to go under this onesie. How gorgeous. That's the next. The next onesies are just beautiful. Just stunning, honestly. Um, one long sleeved vest to go under this. Now this is a special onesie because this is the first onesie that Archie wore. So I think, and it's the first like picture we got of Archie as well. So I think we might get them to put this on her. As soon as she's born so we can get like a same picture um, and just so it's like that little special onesie 
that both of them wore when they first came out. Do you know what I mean? Like it would be so cute. Um, so yeah. Oh, my babies. Um, so that's the outfits I've got. It's not really outfits, it's just the onesies. Um, and I've got three muslins. Don't know what you're going to need them for. You never know. Um, I've also got just one little, uh, what's it called? Cardi. So, because you don't know if it's going to be cold in the, the hospital. I know that they do keep it warmer for them, but you just never know. I'd rather have it and need it and know I've got it than not have it and need it and not have it. So... Um, I've also got some little, what are these ones, little bibs, dribble bibs. I think I did, I did put drip bibs on Archie when he was born, but I can't remember at all. I've also got three hats. So a little pink one that's got like swans on, plain white one, and one that says lovely. I don't really care if she's mismatched at all, so I've also got some little slippers. These are slippers. I do have my Uggs, but I didn't want to take them. So these are my next ones, and they're kind of battered a wee bit anyway at the backs and all that. So I don't really care if they get dirty, and also they take up next to no room at all. So you need them. Um, and I also have, which we just grabbed in Aldi. They were literally down to 29p, <laughs> even though they were only supposed to be like 150, but they were down to 29p. These to shower in because you don't know whose feet have been in that them showers and you don't know what's been on them shower floors, even though they've been cleaned and disinfectant and all that. I'd rather just have these. Again, chucking them out before I come home. 29p. Wore them twice, wear them once, I don't care. 29p, can't go wrong. So just straight up little flat flip-flops i have some cozy socks i get really cold feet all the time i have um some nighties that i got from asda i've got this blue one i have little shorts just to keep my dignity when i'm not in labor um, just so it's not like all vag that's out. <laughs> uh, just little shorts. These are from Matalan, I think. Yeah, Matalan. 2XL they are. But they're so comfortable. Just to go under my 90s. But I won't be wearing them that obviously when I'm in labour. I couldn't care less. And I've also got a maternity um, 90 from yours with the, the buttons down it. And it's already got a hole in it. So. That's fantastic. And I've only worn it once. But whatever, it's fine. It's just a nighty, isn't it? So we've got that. And then my coming home outfit. The coming home outfit that I think I'm going to put on her is the little yellow onesie. Um, just because it's so cute. So I'm going to wear that, put that on her. And then um, her little booties. Just so cute. Um, I've got leggings. Plain black leggings, nothing too fancy about that, but exciting. And a long sleeved over my bum top, just because I know how uncomfortable you can be and you might be comfy coming home. We stay about half an hour to 40 minutes away from the hospital. Um, so just a loose, comfortable top that I'll be wearing on the way home. So that is everything in the bulk of the suitcase and lastly is the bits in here so this is like toiletries face mask foot mask uh, tissues so just stuff like that so i've got some open tissues that i'll just use up um i have some paracetamol only because i know that they come round with paracetamol whenever you need it but in case throughout the night they may forget because obviously there's other women in the ward and um, they may forget so just I'd rather have that there for me and take it um, or if Stuart's got a sore head obviously they're not allowed to give Stuart paracetamol or medication um, because it's not the, he's technically not under their care 
So I've got paracetamol, chewing gum. I have some face masks. I know this sounds ridiculous, but again, you just you don't know how long you're going to be in there. The the air in there is so dry, so you just need to go for it. Um, I have a hydrate hydrating vitamin E woven face mask, a little foot pack, a tea tea tree and peppermint, so it'll be nice and cooling, and I also have a coconut foot pack. So. Uh, Stuart actually quite likes doing a wee foot pack as well, so depends how long I'm in labour. I was in labour for 15 hours um, with Archie, so 15 hours is a long time, do you know what I mean? So just do to do something, <laughs> something fun and something kind of to pamper yourself before you rip, a <laughs> you rip a head out of your vagina. I know that Stuart won't be doing that, but I will, so we'll see. We'll see what gets taken and what gets used. Um, little face mask, just choices, do you know what I mean? Little nose strip if I wanted to get my nose pores out. Um, for my routine of my face stuff, I've just got these little, I've just got these little, um, what are these called? Samples of the nail jad stuff. So I've got a moisturiser, cleanser, and facial polish so I'll do that tonight just that, like another wee routine to make myself feel like I'm still at home do you know what I mean and not completely out of the ordinary and um, oh there's an aeroplane come past and not just feeling a bit alien do you know so I've got that I've got my hair bobble the little one that doesn't leave marks accordingly Um, I have an eye mask because they can leave the um, lights on for quite a while but if I want to go to sleep in the afternoon or anything when Stuart's not there and try and sleep through some stuff like sleep through um, any in between passages or whatever do you know what I mean so just got that That's this one's just from Soap and Glory from one of the Christmas boxes that they do that was like a few years ago I have hand sanitizer, coronavirus and all that even without coronavirus, I'd have still had this in there. Just a little baby one. So try and do that as much as possible. I have a roll-on um, Mitchum dojent because I know when you have a newborn, you're not supposed to use any perfumes or any like scented products to try and smell like yourself as much as possible so they know your, your scent. Um, so even when I come home and stuff, I won't be using like my Dove. Normally I use Dove Original um, spray, but I'll be using this until it runs out, until she's used to my smell and used to the smell of my mouth and stuff like that. So just need to wait and see about it. Um, I have a little facial spray. I had one of these when with um, Archie and it really helped. It really did help cool me down, cool down your decolletage, your arms your back, anywhere, honestly, it really does help. This is just the one that I've got, the La Roche-Posay one, which is lovely. I'll, I've also had the Aven one, which is really nice as well. Um, I have two dummy clips. This is something that I didn't have with Archie because I didn't know about them, but I know for a fact that dummies fall, dummies fall on the ground, then you need to disinfect them, and I ain't getting up and down to do that when I've had the baby. So she would just get this clipped onto her blanket or onto her um, little vest thing. And if it falls out, then I can just grab it in the middle of the night as well. So easy. I have some Sanex Zero. This is also like, obviously what I've just explained as well with the whole no perfume thing, but I have quite bad eczema, um, quite sensitive skin. So I'm taking that. Uh, I have a little revitalising night cream, but it's like a mask pretty much to try and get as much moisture into your skin as possible. Um, this is from Polar. I got this in my birch box, but I don't get it in my birch box anymore. I have my nipple cream. I have used the Lancelot one, but this is the one that I've got left over from having Archie as well. So this is just the end spa. So I'm going to use that. I've got a little facial oil again from Butch Box. This is from Balance Me. It's Rose Auto Face Oil, 100% natural. 
but I like to even use this like round here and it's just like so calming it's lovely I have a wee hair mask I know I'm taking a lot of masks and stuff but you just never know do you like I might want to do a wee mask before I go into the, the shower tonight and stuff so just need to wait and see this is from Coco and Eve and coconut and fig I love anything fig scented so beautiful I have my shampoo which is Philip Kingsley Flake Itchy Scalp. I don't necessarily have a Flake Itchy Scalp, but I want to see what this is like because um, it smells amazing. So I've got that. Little baby uh, toothpaste, Colgate. I have this, but I also have this. So basically both lip balm, but this is like way more thicker. Um, and also that yeah, this can be used on anything else as well but I've also got my Nivea lip balm as well and my this is another shampoo I didn't realise that was in there this is just from Wella another sample from my, my work at the hairdressers and another bobble <laughs> my inhaler uh, my bamboo toothbrush this is just one from actually Primark, but it's actually amazing. It's so good. Ninety P or something, and also a little body moisturizer that's just a little mini. So, I know. Believe me, I know that this is a lot to take, and it's probably overpacking. But do you know what? I really don't care. It's what's making me happy. It's what's making me feel comfortable that I've got everything that I need. Um, and also Stuart's got. We've also got some Cadbury Sun in the car. That I'm going to have like tonight and so hopefully tomorrow morning because you're not allowed to have sun when you're in labour. Um, and he's also getting me some um, like a sandwich and like some fruit tonight just again to have like tonight and tomorrow until I'm in active labour. So got that coming later on and I think I've got everything that I need. I'm aware it seems like it's a lot but pack what you feel like you need and pack what you feel like you're happy with if you feel like you want more then pack more um if you feel like you want way less then pack way less but just remember it's all about like your mindset and stuff as well so that's what i've got oh i'm also taking my own pillow as well because their pillows are stupidly flat and i need a big fat pillow I'm taking that so um anyways that's it that's me done I shall see you hopefully soon um I've also got like a little vlog that I done yesterday it was our last day Stuart doesn't work on a Wednesday just now so it was mine Stuart's and Archie's last day is just as like our, us three um so we went to Blair Drummond Safari Park and I filmed it so I'm going to edit that and hopefully have that up soon as well it's just for the memories you know um, and also I'm I'm asking Stuart to vlog the labour a wee bit more. Um, I wanted him to do it with Archie but my mum was in the room as well. My mum was also my birthing partner and he didn't really feel like confident to do it then. But like I really regret not um, filming his labour and remembering name moments and stuff. So I'm hoping he does it this time so I can remember it and then we can watch it back and so that is everything that's in my hospital bag. I might even do the whole what I packed in my hospital bag but what I actually used. We'll just soon see. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a long one. These ones are always long but that's what I love about these, these hospital videos. Um, and I shall see you in very soon. Tonight I'm going in for my first pesty. And then tomorrow I'm getting another one and hopefully I might not need another one because it's my second baby. We'll soon see. Mwah. Bye!